Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block, the build site. And I am going to do an enchantment. I actually wasn't ready to record a video, but I realized a couple of things. Um, one of the things I need to do right now is go... <laughs> the world's building in. Um, one of the things I need to do right now is go... Uh, collect some resources. And so I realized last time that I didn't put enough bookshelves down. Oh, wait, I did, huh? I just didn't put all that I had. So anyway, I've got three more and I'm going to go like that. And that should give me, what does that put me at? A max of hopefully more than 16. I just added three more. There's 19. Okay, so 19 maybe. I'm going to keep clicking this and I'll be back. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys that I was going to do an enchantment. I figured I might as well just get the highest I could get right now um, before I go do that since I'm going to be doing a lot of resource gathering and then um, and then see, um, see what we get. But I didn't want you to miss it. So anyway, I'm going to be uh, right back. I'll find the highest level I can get. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Actually, after clicking around a, a lot, I, I realized that 20 is, I think, the highest level I can get right now. But I don't know that I want to just go straight to 20. I'm going to try 16 and see. What I really want is something to do with efficiency. I don't know if we're going to get that. I don't even know if we can get that at 16. But let's see. Efficiency 2. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. That feels lucky. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's go also look at this. We did do this last time. I wanted to see if the bookshelves made a difference when you're coming up over here. Come walking through. Oh yeah, and then you see the bookshelves and that's kind of cool. I like that. I'll probably light this in here, light under the bookshelves over here. Maybe put a put a half slab there, fill it in, light it, and then it'll create some cool lighting here and then some lighting outside of there. Anyway, I'm going to work on the glass and stuff too. But the first thing I got to do is do resources and I was going to watch some videos and, and do some mining. So I figured I might as well get myself a decent pick before I did that. And if I'm going to, is there anything else I was going to do out here before I get rid of this dirt? I might as well leave it for now. Anyway, um, so I wanted you to see it. So I will, it may even be, it may be a fair amount of time before I'm back, but for you it'll be seconds, so don't go anywhere. Hey guys, I'm back real quick. Um, I wanted to show you this. So I uh, finished getting a bunch of resources. I found 11 diamonds, um, some emeralds, and just kind of, you know, generic stuff, all the stuff I was looking for. And I went through that pick, and I came up here, and I, I went ahead and got a couple more bookshelves. I just go down and breed all the cows, kill one of them, and that way I've always got the same amount of cows down there. And so anyway, I've, I've been doing that. I got a couple more bookshelves, put the uh, pick in, and bam, efficiency three, unbreaking three, and fortune one at level 20. That's a pretty good pick at level 20, I think. Well, I don't know. I mean, 30 is the highest level, so it feels like a good pick, though. I was really happy with it. Fortune one, I'm not sure how effective that is. Um, I definitely like having... I, I definitely like having the... Uh, the fortune for getting diamonds, right? Collecting diamonds. Um, but I don't know if fortune one really gives you that much more or not. So anyway, I'll try it out and let you know how it works, but I'm still collecting resources. I've got, um, I need to get that glass for this and see if I can't figure out what I want this to look like, but I've got, um, a bunch of cobblestone down in the mine cause I've been just dumping cobblestone mostly in chests down there and then picking, bringing as much cobblestone with me as I can when I come up. Um, what I want to do is set up like a, a, like a temporary storage down in the mine and then run rail up. Speaking of that, maybe I'll, I'm sitting at 46 iron. I think I, there's more iron down in the mine that's cooking up. Um, I probably have about a stack of iron and I probably should make rail. I, I'll show you how far I got with, well, no, I won't. I made it a ways down with the rail that I had, um, probably about halfway, maybe more, more than halfway. I made it from all the way down here and then about four or five levels down. So, um, I need to make some more rail and then I'll get automatic rail system where I can shoot carts up, um, like carts with, uh, carts with chests in them, shoot them up and, uh, have them just kind of ready for me and then make that storage area. So I think before I do that, I want to get a storage area ready down there. And then uh, at least a, the first part of the storage area, and then I'll and then I'll do that. So anyway, I just really wanted to show you that pick. I'm gonna go down and do some more mining, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I have to. You'll have to let me know how the sound is. I'm still working on the sound. I think it's getting better, but 
I don't know if it's there yet. Okay, so a couple things. Did quite a bit of picking. I've also been using this because my shovel ran out, so I've been using this as a shovel, which I think is a bad idea. <laughs> I think using your uh, pickaxe as a shovel uses the the uses up. Um, not a lot, but I've been doing it some. So I'm going to go ahead and make a shovel before we go over there, and I'll show you what I've been up to. I'm going to make a diamond shovel. And you can see I went and mined some obsidian as well. I have a couple of thoughts about that. Um, and you can kind of see there's some new stuff over there. So we're going to go do a bunch of stuff. So let's, let's go get to it. Anything I need now. I think I got everything I need. All right. So I've had a lot of bad luck with creepers. I'm, I'm having creeper issues and the sound just, hold on a second. All right. There we go. That actually sounds better to me already. I think I've just not been in the correct position. Okay. So. I put the glass in. I think you've seen the glass. I don't know. Maybe not. So the stairs going up. Now there's a new stairway. This one. And I've thought and thought and thought. I think what I'm going to do is put the door right here for this level. Um, and then I'm going to try something. I don't know. I don't know. So a couple of thoughts that I've had. First, let's see. Do I want... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to play with this. I'm going to have to play with this whole thing a little bit, but... Hmm, I don't know. That's okay for now. But anyway, um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. Um, what I what I would like to do, I've been thinking about a beacon, so I, I know I have to get a wither star or whatever. I want to put a beacon in there that shoots up through the roof. I'd like to have, just because I think it would be cool, I, I mean, not, not even for like the effects or whatever. I just want a beacon that will, a beacon that will shoot through that roof and this will be kind of like the center of our of our land. Sorry, I got some coffee I'm drinking. Okay. Anyway, so I, I played with, I had multiple thoughts. I actually had a staircase that was going up like from here, kind of spiraling, spiraling around. Um, I tried a, ooh, I tried a bunch of different stuff. And I was going to do something maybe from in here, but I wanted to preserve the, the view from down there and definitely at least... There's not going to be a good center spot, though. That's part of the problem. Even if we did have a beacon, it won't go right out the center because there is no center block. It's it's going to have to be one of these two blocks here, I guess. That one, maybe. So maybe that, I don't know. Maybe that's not ideal. But I did decide that I was going to put the... I'm going to put the... What am I trying to say? I'm going to put the nether portal right out here. And these are all like half block on top. Decided to go a different route with that. I think I'm going to leave the part of the beams exposed and do this. Hopefully I can remember how to make a uh, nether portal. <laughs> okay, so although what I may do... Let me leave the edges up one and then put, well, I don't know. For now, that's what I'm going to do, but, okay. And then let's go ahead and sleep. I just, I've had a lot of bad luck with creepers and whatnot, so I don't even want to chance it. All right, so do the nether portal. I also was thinking in this tower that up there, which is kind of the reason I want to have this door to even just a small area is I'm going to put glass and then maybe, I don't know, maybe on one side or something. And then I'm going to have like the, uh, the potion room up there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I, again, everything just always gets me with the scale and the size of things. So, but I'm relatively happy with this whole concept, you know, extending the beams, supporting the staircases. It feels, it feels all right to me. It feels like a, a decent explanation. I just have to have like some, 
some like feasibility. I just can't have staircases floating out in the middle of the of, of space with no like explanation as to how they could possibly have been su supported. <laughs> so this helps. Um, and it looks, I think it looks kind of cool. This, I will say this though, I've had, I've gone back and forth and my current thinking is that this building is more or less atrocious. And the main reason for it is that I've just, you know, one of my main rules is keep it simple. And I, I definitely like to see, um, evolving designs, but it seems like I've, um, it seems like I've just over designed this thing as I over evolved the design <laughs> as I've gone. I think I should have done a little bit more thought up front as to what I wanted to do, but we get better as we go and it's been a while since I've done it. Anyway, sorry about the rambling. Let's go, let's go do this. I'm gonna do the shovel and <clears throat> level 28. Oh, I don't have level 28, but I could go up to level 28. I wonder if that's, that's probably about where I'm at right now. Oh, that makes sense. You get two levels per bookcase. There's 15 bookcases. Hmm, I'm smart. <laughs> I'm smart. Could have calculated the levels the whole time. What a dummy. Okay. We're short one bookcase. Maybe I'll go get a bookcase and try to do a a 30 soon. So in the meantime, this will look something like, let's see. I might even... That's okay for now. Might even do something like that. And then... This isn't gonna leave much, is it? If anything, it's gonna leave two block opening. That seems kind of ridiculous. Maybe that's not even what I was thinking. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's not ideal. Hmm, maybe I can have two beacons. I don't think you can, though, because you have to have... Maybe you can. Maybe they can be offset, because I know they have to be in a pyramid, in the center of a pyramid, so you could have two different pyramids offset down lower or something. I'm not sure. So if we did that... Hmm... I'm half thinking that you come in here. Let's let's try a different approach. What if I Yeah, there's just no space. Just didn't leave enough space. In fact, I'm thinking the best we could do. Let's just see. Let's just see what this looks like. Camp the bed down there. Like this, maybe? Something a little bit like so. Uh, it's always worth playing with. Actually, what I should do is go into the... No, I guess I can't. Okay. That's going to leave a single... A single spot and then I'm gonna have to run like a piece of a post straight up well let's just see maybe I'm just gonna have to forego the whole view from the bottom thing oh that's not good where are we at is it even worth what am I doing what's even the point maybe the potion room is up top Now that it's gotten this thin, you can't really, I guess if anything, I can't put that there, can I? Yeah, I can, but now we really are gonna. Can we get away with this? Nope. 
this point I would have to do the... Can we get away with that? Yeah, we can barely get that. Hmm. We'll have to s take a look. This definitely won't work though. That's where we, that's where it stops. Although what we could potentially do is go like that. Oops. Upside down, not what I wanted. How do I not make that upside down? There we go. Nope. Can't make it. So. Hmm. Unless, I already tried that. All right, so maybe I go a totally different approach. I was going to potentially, I just wanna see some. I was gonna potentially just make a ladder or I could continue on the outside and make this thing go all the way around and then the tower just becomes a giant set of staircases, <laughs> uh, which just isn't, isn't gonna float my boat. Yeah, see that's without any, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So we just don't have the, we don't have the room. I think we're gonna have to forgo that whole idea. And let's see, maybe I just make it a, a ladder. I don't like that because I just don't, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it, I just don't. But what I could do is just make it like a ladder. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Whoops. This pick works pretty well, though. I'll give you that. Uh, nah, nah. So what I could do is get rid of all these. And potentially I could make it a straight shot from where, like, if I put extra blocks on there, I can make it a straight shot from over there. I can't make it a straight shot from here. Unless I, no. So, all right, let's come back to that. Let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the nether portal area. So, I'm thinking right there or right here Maybe even right here. Is it is it one, two, three, four? Or is it, I think it's, yeah, I think that's right. I think it's four by five high, is that correct? And I'm not gonna bury it, <clears throat> I'm not gonna bury it. So I wanna have a half block step. I can't do half block obsidian blocks yet, can I? I always thought that would be cool. Nope, no obsidian slabs. It's kind of unfortunate, I wonder why that is. All right, let's see. I think it'll be cool out here. And then I will put the porch. Let me check something. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, it's the four by five, which I thought I was correct about. Why can't I pick up? Um, I'm thinking... Well, so, so the way I'm thinking about finishing the top of this tower is a spiral of a, a mix of this, whoops, a mix of this um, block, this, this uh, stone slabs and obsidian to like finish out the tower. So it would be kind of like a spiral to the, to the top. Um, and I was considering maybe putting like a obsidian roof on this little area here but I'm not sure about that. And if I did it, then the top of the uh, the portal would be in the roof because that would be five, right? One, two, three, four, five. And I just don't know if that would look good or bad with the mix. We could try it, I guess. It's the worst that could happen. So I think I'm gonna put it right 
Actually, I think I'm going to put it here. There's no reason not to put it out as far as possible. It'll be visible, more visible anyway. So let's go like that. And then two, three, four, five. And two, three, four, five. Two. For some reason, it's always exciting to get your first nether portal up. And then... I'm actually considering putting glowstone in the corners as well, although I wouldn't do that if I wouldn't do that if I was going to do. Yeah, that's nice. Um, the roof. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. If I was going to, let's see. So three to get across. Is that right? One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I could get sixteen and I could make a roof. Although I'd probably want it to overhang, so seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. And I just don't like full size slab things for the roof. So I think what I'll probably do instead is like this. Or maybe just no roof at all. And then if I want it on the top, I could slab it on top to get rid of the uh, obsidian that would be left over up there. But for now, I'm just not going to put anything. I think what I'll do is put back the blocks that were there. Or maybe what I'll do is like a uh, like a pergola type thing. That might be nice with, uh, with fence posts. So, what was I think? All oh, right, these. Put these back for now. Like that. Okay. And I'll probably do like, and then, uh oh. There we go. I don't love those with this. I wish you could get rid of the connectors. I guess I could bring it out one more. I don't know. Let's go take a look. So for now, I guess let's light it up first because this is the perfect time to look at it. I've brought some flint for the Z flint and Z steel. And bam. Nice. Let's go take a look. So we're getting there. Um, this tower I will probably consider to be relatively complete, minus landscaping and some finer details, which I need to come up with a plan for anyway. It is night. Let's go look at the night. Um, I would like to find a, uh, a fortress. I see that. That's a bummer. The scale, it just gets out of, this is my uh, Enderman fighting thing, by the way, which hasn't been working out for me at all. Let's see if we can find an Enderman real quick. Oof. Without too many skeletons. Wah <laughs> okay, that was too much. Uh, I just saw us. Anyway, let's see if we can find an Enderman. We'll call him over here. The The sound, first off, creeps me out to no end. So that makes it difficult. And then, yeah, you're coming up. I see you. And then the uh, sound creeps me out. And then they don't seem to quite act in the same way that they used to. Um, it seems like they don't just, like, come right to you. They'll, like kind of stay farther away when they zoom to you and then you'll think you're safe and then they come and eat your lunch. At least that's been my experience. I'm surprised I don't see any Endermen. Usually when you can see for a ways you can find a couple hanging out out there somewhere. Anyway, so that, that looks okay. I do think the scale's a little wonk. 
I mean, the, the portal's huge and the tower's huge. I probably could get rid of those torches. I guess we could also go take a look and see what our what our nether looks like. Any Enderman? No. But the porch is looking okay. It's a little blocky now that I've Ooh. An armored skeleton with a I love that. So You give me no, oh, but a bow. He did give me a bow, didn't he? Didn't I see him drop a bow? Mine crack. That's the bow I had. He must have just dropped a bow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now I'm rambling and not. I'm not even rambling. Now I'm just wasting time. Let's do this. I just. I'm. I'm stuck thinking. I'm going to have to think about what I want to do. I might do railing instead of the double blocks on the stairs there. Um, that just looks too blocky to me, although it kind of fits with... I mean, it looks good. I think once we get the top finished, it, it looks okay. It's not horrible. Let me do this. Let me. I think what I want to do is go play around with getting the top finished, because I want this thing on camera finished this time. So let me go play around with that a little bit more. Oh, how many diamonds? I've used quite a few, and I've got 18, 14 emeralds. Um, I've used what? Well, I've used six, seven, eight, nine diamonds. So I had found 27. That's pretty good. Um, the efficiency one, this pick has been a, a monster. I love that there, the fortune one. Um, it did help me. It probably got me four extra diamonds in the, in the last set of probably 10 I found. So that was good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go figure out how I want to handle that. And then maybe we'll step into the nether and that's where I'll end this episode and then I'll go do my nether run and then next time we'll figure out what we're going to do. So I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back. We've only got like three minutes left, so I'm going to make this as efficient as possible. Um, first off, that's what I've done. And I did a couple of different iterations. I did the spiral with the the obsidian going up and a couple of spirals and it looked a little, it just wasn't quite what I was going for. And then when I got here and... I put a couple of rows and I liked the, the contrast. I'm going to probably do something right around that area where they come together like a kind of almost like a binding strip, like half slab above and below just one row around. Um, that's probably what I'll do. And then I really like the kind of the horned look up there. I'll probably, I'll probably try if I can get some, uh, some, some, uh, ender, or sorry, netherrack fence stuff. I might try putting it on there just to see. But anyway, that's my current situation. And I'm happy with it. I am actually think it, it came together pretty well. Um, overall, I'm doing, I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, we're going to go do a little bit of enchanting. But since I'm so low on time, I'm going to pause and meet you over there. All right, I'm back. And I brought another bookcase, but I just realized something. I think what I'm going to do is actually try a 28 level on the bow. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, it's hard to get to a lower, or maybe you can't get to a lower level once you place that. You'd have to put something in between and then you would get rid of a couple. I'm not sure how that'll work. So anyway, let's try a level 28 on this bow. I don't, I don't know what I'm hoping for. Let's see. Power four. Punch two, flame one. That seems, that seems pretty good. I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. All right, off to the another. Oh, well, you know what? Before we do that, that'll be the last thing that we do. We'll step in and then I'll start the next episode there. Um, so this is what I did. Just very simple. Um, this is going to be the potion room, and then up here is just a lookout, and that's really it. Um, nothing fancy. And yeah, that's where we're at. So it's coming along. We're way up there. We're 143. <laughs> so we could go quite a bit higher. So this won't certainly won't be the ho tallest building in our world. Um, I might terraform a mountain. I've thought about that. Um, try to make like a really, really big epic mountain, but that would take a lot of work. So it's something I've always wanted to do. 
I'm not sure if it would be worth doing around here, if it's even even possible. I don't know if I've seen seen one done the way I would want to do it or not. I'll have to look. Anyway, let's go to the nether. All right. So I like the new sounds for the stairs, too, or for the ladder, and the new sounds when you break them. Oop, there's our buzzer. Let's make this quick. All right. And anything that I need to do, I tried to get myself a survival kit. I got some food. Some blocks of various kinds. I don't have any cobblestone. Do I have any cobblestone here? I think we're right at 30 minutes, so hopefully this will only take a minute. If I don't have any cobblestone here, I'm just going to forgo it. For oh, there, perfect. A tree? No. Forget it. <laughs> if it goes that wrong, I'll just quit. All right. And... Off we go. I love the first trip to the nether. All right. And we got access to some soul sand right away. Excellent. This looks excellent. All right. We'll start the next one up right around here. And this is a good spot. This is a really good spot. Hopefully we can find a fortress somewhere close. Let's go take a look. Lagtastic. But there's soul sand and there's glowstone and come on baby, just give me a fortress. Draw in a fortress somewhere. Anywhere? Anybody? Anybody? Hello? <laughs> All right. That's it. We'll, uh, we'll get it next time. So if you liked it, thumbs up, please. Um, leave your comments and suggestions just how I can do a better job and how I can, how, uh, how I can build better and whatnot. And we'll start on the, the next set of projects next time. And I think it's coming along. I'm, I'm happy with the way things are going. Um, we're just going to keep plowing forward. That's... Where did you come from? That's my biggest problem, is just plowing forward. Trying to... Uh... Ouch. Alright, how rude. Let me get out of here. Anyway, plowing forward and trying to make sure that I don't just give up and get frustrated. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to plow forward and we'll... Uh... We'll get this thing figured out. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys. Oh, lag crap. I'll talk to you guys next time.